Well, hello, my beautiful Virgo. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Wolf Moon reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is your Wolf Moon reading, which occurs on the 28th of January, 2021. It's a time for coming into power. Also, it's a time for uh, new beginnings, being resourceful with what you have so far and keeping the dream alive and moving forward um, after that winter solstice. There's sacred wisdom here. Uh, wolves, they symbolize the strength for the journey ahead and the freedom to fiercely protect their dreams uh, or their, their intentions and move forward with what we have. Um, it's almost like claiming back the power after that winter solstice, that downtime. Um, Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Um, the energy they have given you is meditate and contemplate. Okay? Uh, so meditation is key during this time uh, for peace of mind, but also to manifest the world uh, that you're hoping to uh, sort of, well, I was going to say dream into vision, but they've got hold your vision. Okay? Uh, dream into life there. Feel very much like you're turning your visions into reality. Um, and energy, hold your vision. So hold true to it, okay? Keep it in mind as you uh, actually meditate. That will bring it faster to you and it will help you uh, raise your frequency to match whatever it is that you're trying to call in. And we have, you are good enough. Virgo, ain't that the truth? You are good enough and then some, okay? But sometimes you doubt yourself. They're giving me this energy of, you know, um, it's normally fools who don't doubt themselves. The people who are so arrogant and they've got nothing to show for themselves. They're, they're normally very confident. It's the geniuses. It's the, the people who have something to show the world of truth, of wisdom, of talent. They're the ones who are normally racked with uh, insecurities and low self-confidence. They're the ones who actually have something to offer. So they're indicating here that whatever it is you're trying to action or get off the ground, you know, you are good enough. You have what it takes. It's the people, you know, who uh, are very talented. They're the ones with the insecurities and the low self-confidence. So um, know that you are good enough to action whatever it is that you do, okay? Um, it's always the ones, uh, they're just giving me this energy of, it's always the really super arrogant ones who blow their trumpet really loudly and everything like that. Oh, they're giving me this wonderful sentence. Um, it's very, uh, I think it's a very traditional old-fashioned sentence, which is, empty buckets make the loudest noise. Empty buckets make the loudest noise. Wow, that is really, I love that. Okay, uh, but anyway, that, that's what they're indicating here with that energy. You know, you have something to, to prove here. You've got, uh, you know, you, you came here with a mission, as it were, and you are full. You're full with intelligence, with talent. Um, you've got the smarts and the drive to do whatever it is that you um, want to do. You don't shout about it. You just get on with it. You, you, you just do it. Okay, so don't doubt your wonderful self. You are good enough. And actually, that is the, the energy in Virgo. Okay, I'm sorry. When I'm reading the cards, I actually look in the water. So I just saw there that it says um, full moon in Virgo. So even though the wolf moon is in Leo, which is about your achievements, your goals, and going after um, things with high passion, um, know that uh, you are good enough to do this. And we've got Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher. Okay, so perhaps you're in a leadership position or you want to be in one, uh, something where you help other people because there's teacher there, mystic, you're employing your spiritual practices to help others raise their vibration. Uh, the sisterhood, uh, male or female, not a gender specific reading, but it's about the energy. But the sisterhood indicates some sort of uh, communal kind of energy there um, and harnessing that to sort of build strong foundations, um, creating a beautiful world. You've got a soul mission here. Uh, Virgo. Thank you so much for it, guys. Uh, they asked me to go again, so I am. Now, ooh, I love it. I love it when we get this card. Uh, I don't get it often, and r even m m less likely I get the word no, but you got yes. Okay, so whatever it is that you, you're having a bit of a conundrum about, or you're trying to weigh up the options, etc., etc., it just says yes. Just say yes. Okay, so this is about um, going for it. Whatever it is that you want to action, just go for it. The pathway ahead is being lit for you to uh, make progress. Just say yes. Now, we also have mirror. Who or what is triggering you? 
often when things trigger in ourselves, it is because that person shows a part of ourselves that we either A, haven't dealt with yet, or B, that we don't like about ourselves, okay? It actually triggers things in ourselves um, when people project something on us. So they really want you to look at who or what is triggering um, something within you uh, to either hold you back or, uh, you know, that creates some sort of chaos or um, disruptive energy in your world. Now we will clarify uh, that energy as we go on. I'm just going to get um, the overall energy for your reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Okay. Uh, just to let you know, I'm using the Ex Animo Tarot deck, a series of major arcana cards. Um, I'm using them in the upright. They're by Bonnegur, and they mean, um, wow, uh, they mean uh, from the heart in Latin. You got the chariot card. This is success. This is victory. You're moving forward, taking action. You're not just dreaming it. You're going to be living it, okay? So definitely a very powerful, highly charged energy. This is a Cancerian energy. Uh, it's a, it indicates a journey. Um, now, not just a, a spiritual journey, but a physical journey as well. So you may be relocating or moving into a new job or a new department, uh, into a new position there. So definitely movement in the physical form as well. Uh, but this is basically, the chariot means victory, it means success, overcoming your obstacles to move forward on the mission ahead. Oh my gosh, Virgo, it's a long time since I've had something like this in your reading. We have the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Turning points here. So if you felt stuck in a rut about something or there was you had a bit of a, a bad uh, run of luck there, things are changing. They were out of your control for a while and Virgo, I mean, I do not cast aspersions on my fellow Virgos because I understand that need for, it's not control, it's about order, okay? Uh, it's about having everything in place so that you can see um, what you are planning for the future and be five or six uh, steps ahead of the game for every eventuality. You're always planning ahead just to make sure everything's safe and secure. I understand that. As a Scorpio, I understand that, okay? Um, but there's an energy here of um, things changing and there is good fortune here for you. There is a, it's almost like you're turning a page and it may require you coming out of your comfort zone. Some sort of risk may be involved with this. We will have a look and see what that is. But there's an energy here of um, abundance, success, but also an energy of destiny meeting synchronicity. There's a lucky break on its way for you. And uh, it, it looks like um, it puts you in the place where you need to be. Okay. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Let's, let's look at that. We got the Empress. Okay. So that is definitely connected to you are good enough. Standing in your power, knowing your self-worth, knowing that you can do this. This is abundance. The Empress is a very beautiful card. It's about manifestation. It's a manifestation card of creation. Um, you know, whatever it is you're trying to manifest there, be it you're birthing new ideas or um, maybe even birthing children. Um, it, it's a wonderful uh, energy of um, a healthy, natural world and creating your uh, abundance from there. It's uh, luxury. It's nature. It's pleasure. It's transformation though. It's an energy of knowing that you are enough and standing in your power, being able to um, call in this abundance because you're worth it. I, I mean, you know, if ever there was a, a saying that went with that card, it is because you're worth it for sure. Um, now I'm just going to go and get uh, the overall energy of what they would like to discuss in this reading. Thank you so much Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know? Um, so just to let you know, this is a, a deck called The Good Tarot, and it is um, by Colette Baron Reed. You only read the uprights in this deck. No reversals. Uh, there we go. I love it when they just jump right out of the pack. Uh, now, also, as I was uh, shuffling, they were giving me an image of a hopscotch. Okay, it's like, you know, you have a little stone or something, a little pebble, and there's numbers on the floor. It's like one, then two, three, then four, then five, six, and you're just um, throwing the stone. Okay, um, so there's an energy here of you throwing the stone to a, a further a field kind of like um, number and I feel like you're skipping a step. It's, it feels like you're going, you rather than, um, you know, starting at the beginning, I feel like you're going higher than would be the normal route. Uh, so I really feel this is the success, the energy of something lands in your lap or, or comes your way that uh, indicates you rising up and skipping a few steps, 
So I'm not sure what that means. Maybe you've just been playing hopscotch with your kids today, or maybe, uh, you know, um, that's something that you just did. You know, you're walking through the park and thought, for all time's sake, let's uh, embrace my inner child and do a hopscotch. Um, please take it as it resonates. It's not going to be for everyone. But the overall energy I'm getting is that you're rising up through the ranks and you're actually bypassing some you know some elements of status to go higher uh, so that's what I'm getting oh my gosh look at that we got the star card beautiful energy I mean this is huge okay this is a lot of success it's crossing the chariot so this there is this energy of you know overcoming obstacles being the master or the mistress of your own destiny and rising up for success the star is an energy of illumination it's about faith it's an Aquarian energy uh, but it is also about serenity peace hope and clarity of the journey ahead the star is an energy of abundance it's of wisdom and um, yeah, it's like being in the spotlight for your work or something. So maybe you're getting a raise or a promotion um, and you didn't expect it. Or you're going, whoa, huh, do you see that? It's just sort of cartwheeled over there. That's amazing. Uh, three of Fire. I love this card. This is the road to success, the Three of Fire. This is about uh, an abundance of opportunity, expansion, um, and you know creativity. So whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, because fire is about wands um, and you know passion there. Uh, it's about what you're strongly emotional about and trying to action in your life. This is a uh, it's an indication from spirit that you're on the right path and that you are in an alignment with uh, your heart's destiny. Okay, a lot of abundance here. And um, yeah, this is the right path to success. This is what they're indicating with this card. Even if you look up the meaning of this card, it is about being on the right path to success. Okay, as you can see, the, this uh, figure here is in a shell. So uh, it's also about listening to your heart, your passion and uh, your drive there, listening to that ambition, where it's taking you, because it's taking you to the big one, to the success, the star card there in the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, Whatever it is you do, Virgo, you're going to be very, very good at it. You are good enough for this moment. So don't shy away from it. Don't feel like you're not enough because this is a reward or a success that is well-deserved. You've worked hard for this. Um, the Empress, when she shows up, especially in the unified position, it indicates, look at that, Empress, and it's crossed by the Hermit. You've done this all by yourself, Virgo. This is a lot of success here for you. Uh, you may have, they've asked me to go again as well, so I will. Um, the, the, you may have had to sort of cut yourself off in order to really focus, um, but this is your destined path, Virgo. This is your card as well, the Hermit, and it's over the Empress. But uh, as I was saying, the Empress has already sown seeds for success. So it's something you've already worked really hard for. And the Empress, she presides over the uh, harvest, as it were, okay? Um, she notices, she's watching, she's tending to uh, the seeds that she's grown, like an Earth Mother, and she is... Um, watching them grow to fruition and nurturing them to be even bigger and better uh, but this hermit card crossing it indicates um it's almost like you're, the key to unlocking um the wisdom of whatever it is that you want to do uh it is here it feels very much like you're doing it uh that's the energy i'm getting there uh, the hermit is almost as well a bit of a time out five of earth and four of water okay uh they're indicating a, a time out energy because you work really hard so you may be taking a or you may need to take a bit of a rest i will clarify that energy um but they're given the five of earth here so it's almost like you may have had to find some sort of alternative form of uh money or alternative form of abundance here you may have had to be um because there's an energy here of i'm going to pull a card on it because i don't get this energy with uh this card often but i'm getting an energy of you may have lost your job or lost uh um, there's some sort of financial loss there, okay? Um, and I know that Five of Pentacles means financial loss, but I don't often get it with this card because this actual card means, you know, um, looking at other avenues for abundance um, or, or earning money. And um, it's almost as well they're given an energy of um, drawing attention to where your attention goes, your finances grow, okay? So I will pull a card on that energy. Um, Spirit is with you. So if you're going, if you felt like you're going through a difficult time, there are so many more opportunities ahead of you that's going to catapult you into uh, your desired job if you're looking for one. Uh, and I say that because they've given the four of water. So that is, uh, four of water is when you're feeling fed up, 
let down by the universe, feeling apathy, unfulfilled, along comes an opportunity that is a surprise from the universe. It is an abundance of opportunities. There is, there's a couple of opportunities headed your way, but there's one big one that's like, it's the one, okay? So this is energy here, as you can see. Um, there's something here about your emotion and about a wisdom, about wisdom, about knowledge. Uh, I will pull a card on it. Uh, so perhaps um, there's a job or an opportunity. It could be the raise, it could be the promotion that's coming your way that requires your specific set of knowledge. Because I feel like you are the only person for this job. And I know there could be a lot of competition out there for it, but it just, it just fits you. I'm not sure what that is that they're giving me there, but anyway, uh, I will clarify that energy. Let's uh, go get a few more cards to see what else they would like to discuss. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please clarify um, this energy for the Wolf Moon, for my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know? Can you please clarify for them? Just to let you know, I'm using the Light Seers Tarot. Three of Wands, Expansion. Three of Wands, Three of Fire. Pay close attention to your synchronicities, especially when you get a Wheel of Fortune. Because Wheel of Fortune means destiny meeting synchronicity. So if you're starting to see double three in your world, or you're starting to see double numbers in your world, it's a sign that something is about to change. Please look them up. You can look up angel numbers. Um, you know, for example, uh, you know, I've been waking up every morning at 0909 um, recently, and I normally get up super, super early. So um, it, it's indicating, um, you know, there's change there. So I looked it up this morning and seeing what it means for me. So uh, please look those things up. They're not by accident. Okay. Um, now ooh, we have the lover's card as well. Now they're showing a little bit of love in this reading. So it's not just all about career, but this could be about your partnerships in business. If you're not looking for love, uh, we will clarify this card, but there's a choice here and this is a soulmate choice Virgo. Um, now, this may allow you to be with your soulmate if you're looking for love. It looks like you an unexpected opportunity to meet somebody uh, will come. I feel like it's connected to your career path, uh, something that you're highly energized in creating for your future. Um, so there is that possibility if you're looking for love. If you're not, there seems to be uh, you're waiting for something. Maybe the right opportunity to be with your love if you are with someone, if you're separated from them at the moment. We will clarify. But we have the Magician card. Very strong energy. Uh, just at the beginning, I just feel like you're in strong um, vision mode, which is basically, you know, you're focusing those visions and creating your destiny from your mind. So believing that you can have it is important because what you can see in your mind, you can have in your hand. Believing that you are worth it and that you've got this and that you deserve this is important because then the universe matches the frequency with that and brings on in whatever it is that you truly deserve and desire. So uh, exciting energy here. Uh, I will come and I will clarify these cards in a moment, but I just want to clarify uh, this trigger. Okay, uh, so let's go. Uh, where should we clarify it? Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Can you please clarify the trigger card for my beautiful Virgo? What is it they need to know about this uh, mirrored energy? Now this could be soulmate. This could be twin flame because we got mirrored energy here. Who or what is triggering you? And we got the lovers. So it is not an accident. We could be talking twin flame here. Let's have a look. Okay, wounded warrior. Okay, nine of uh, wands, but it's in the reverse. D not being defensive. Okay, not letting... Um, it's almost like being... They're indicating, you know, where are you or your your person? Because I'm going to clarify again. There's an energy here of um, resistance, uh, having high boundaries. And uh, Spirit's indicating that the walls need to come down. Okay, now everybody, um, we all have ego. Uh, and uh, some have negative ego. And, you know, all ego is like a sense of self. So there's an energy here of pride and ego. And... Um, I feel like maybe both parties are triggering that in themselves, like uh, to invest fully in a love connection, for example, um, if it went wrong, the hurt would be just too much. There's this wounded ego kind of, or, or wounded warrior kind of energy. And you've been through the ringer, Virgo. I feel like this person that you're dealing with is also the same. Um, so there's a defensiveness between you both keeping each other at bay, perhaps. Um, but there's also this underlying energy of having faith that um, the relationship could work. So when you have two people who are in that state, it's like a stalemate, okay? Nobody's gonna make a move. Um, 
We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So they're indicating here uh, that this person is returning to your world and they are trying to learn lessons. They're trying to, uh, you know, resolve anything from the past, any hurt. Um, and it feels very much like with that Eight of Cups there that um, they can't let you go. And I feel like deep down, you don't really want to let this person go either. You may try to walk away from this person many times. Um, so I feel like we could be dealing with Twin Flame energy. Um, that flip right over. High Priestess, use your intuition. Virgo, this is your card. You know what, Virgo? They just give me this energy and I, I laugh at it. It's not funny, but I do laugh at it because I know from my own personal experience, a lot of, um, a lot of the world, uh, how can I put that? A lot of the world uh, is sometimes meant to be understood on an in intuition-based uh, kind of energy, okay? Some things we cannot see, you know, we cannot... Uh, we cannot judge everything on an intellectual plane because the reason I'm sort of not not laughing because it is not funny. Um, there's an energy here of, you know, some people may look at you in this person's relationship and go, you're crazy. What? Why do you want this person? What is this about? And you're like, I don't know. This person, they're just the one. I don't know. There's just this thing. There's this thing deep inside of me that says I, 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 ca I can't let this person go out of my psyche. No matter how many times I try and let this person go, they just keep on coming back in here. I don't understand it. So the high priestess comes to remind you that trust in the mystery of the universe. Trust your intuition. Trust yourself. Most important. Okay. So this person is coming back on in. Let's see. We have a page of wands. Now, when we got a page of wands, be mindful, okay? Because there's an immaturity here. Uh, also, there is a, this person struggling in some way. Now, this person could be connecting with you because, and don't shoot the messenger when I say this, because this is the meaning of the card. Uh, it, it's not that they're bored. It's just, if you find your intuition is telling you that they only reach out to you when it suits them, and when you send them back a long message or whatever to connect with them and they don't respond, there's something wrong there, okay? So, um, they're, as I said, they're trying to learn the lessons. Are they there yet? I mean, I'm not sure that they're there yet. I mean, you may be waiting for them to change the moon. Yeah, um, the moon indicates a cloudiness, unseen problems, something that they're voluntarily making changes uh, but they're not quite there yet, okay? Uh, so perhaps you and this person are meant to be. I'm not going to tell you to wait for anybody, okay? Um, because waiting is losing time. And Virgo, you know about time more than most people. You know, you got to be on time. You got to, you got to, you got stuff to do, you know? You can't be waiting around for nobody. And there's an energy here, though, of that three of wands. Um, it's not that you're waiting for them because you're doing stuff in the meantime, but I feel like you're waiting for them to change or you're, wa you're wanting some change here. And I mean, they are trying. Are they there yet? I'm not sure. Intentions. Uh, four pentacles in reverse. Vulnerability. Okay. So yeah, this person, there's a thing about vulnerability, letting you in, Virgo. It's tough for this person. And they're quite sharp in the way that they talk. They're very uh, independent, very self-sufficient. Um, and maybe you mirror this energy with them. And maybe you just don't, you don't, I feel this energy where you don't act like this with anybody else. It's something that they trigger in you that is like a behavior that makes you be sharp and defensive as well. And with everybody else, you're not like that. And you're like, why am I like this with this person? I don't know. So there's something here. The four of pentacles in reverse indicates, you know, both of you feel very vulnerable with each other. Okay, now this is not going to be a love reading because we've got a lot of career stuff going on here. But they just want me to address it before I move on, okay? So I just want uh, to, to see what the trigger is. The trigger is pride and ego masking vulnerability. There is a lot of depth here, a lot of feeling, a lot of emotion, and there's fear. A lot of fear, okay? Uh, so we got the Queen of Swords here, Libra Energy, self-sufficient, uh, leading. This person is honest to a T. And I feel a Virgo, you are also honest to a T, but there's a sharp energy between you both, which is like, you may almost like, you definitely trigger each other, but there's the way that you talk to each other is kind of like um, defensive or um, it's not cold. I feel like you do it in jest, but sometimes, you know, many a truth told in jest. 
That's the sentence they're giving me. And sometimes it's quite sharp. It's a bitter sweet, it's a bitter pill to swallow. That's an energy I'm getting here. And it makes you conflicted because it's like, how can we have so much love for each other, but maybe talk to each other like this? How can we have so much love for each other, but never manage to make it work? There's something here, but it's time to make a compromise on that because we've got the two of swords. Okay, so uh, time to make a decision. There's no threat here. Both of you actually have a lot of love for each other. Uh, it's a deep soulmate connection, but for some reason, maybe wounding, childhood wounding, because we had that page of wands in the reverse. I feel like there's some sort of uh, childhood wounding here. This person struggles with uh, intimacy, and I feel maybe you absorb that energy because they project it, okay? They keep you at a distance. They asked me to go one more, so I will. The seer. No, the star, sorry. They're get so interesting because they just said the seer. So I assumed this, the card was called the seer. Uh, this person maybe uh, has some sort of psychic ability or you do, okay? Because uh, they gave me the seer, but we also got the star there. So this this person, it can be healed. This person does want to heal this with you. They do, they do want to be with you. They are making, uh, they're making their way forward to try and heal this. Um, and they're receiving a lot of uh, illumination right now. Have faith. If you want to be with this person, not, not everybody's going to want to be with this person. But if you want to be with this person, uh, it can be purified. It can be healed here. Um, there, there can be something that's really good that comes out of it. Um, it can be like, um, there's many avenues to sort of purge whatever it is that's going on here and uh, make it more healthy. There's uh, uh, definitely an energy here of a renewal of hope, serenity, and clarity in this relationship, okay? But it seems to trigger you at first, okay? You both trigger each other, uh, which makes each other defensive. Okay, we will leave that energy there. Let's get straight to the reading. Let's talk about success, Virgo, because that's where you're headed. That's the path. You have two, three of wands. Now, there's an energy here of waiting for results because I feel like you're on your way to this. You're not quite there yet, but you're on your way and you feel it. You know, you can feel the shift, the energy shift. Uh, now, this is your energy for the 28th of January. This is the protagonist energy. You're going after your goals and dreams at high speed. You're harnessing that wolf moon energy and there, uh, any obstacles that you face, you're overcoming them. Um, and you're doing them in a way where people are like, what? That's impossible. And you're Virgo. So therefore, you're making uh, the impossible possible. That's the energy I've got. As long as you believe in yourself, it will all turn out in your favor. Now, uh, there's an energy here of, um, you've learned a lot here, Virgo. You've learned a lot, uh, you've grown a lot as well. You've fallen a couple of times, but you always get back on the horse. So there's that energy there. And uh, the wheel of fortune is intervening because there's a wheel there in the background they're indicating there. Um, it's a natural progression, but I feel like you're missing a step. You're going straight up. Now, all of a sudden I've gone, uh, sort of very muffled deaf in both my ears. This happened in a reading a couple of days ago. Um, maybe it was even Virgo. So perhaps you've either, I'm trying to, sorry, I'm just trying to get rid of it. Uh, they just said address the image. Okay. So what they're giving me here is either you have some sort of hearing impairment or you've been worried about your hearing recently and you're checking that out um, and you felt it was an obstacle. It, uh, then there's something in this message for you. There's something about, um, hearing. I'm not hearing any like, uh, it's just muffled sound. Okay. Maybe you've had a really bad cold or really bad sinuses recently and it's, um, bunged up in your hearing. Uh, if that's you, there's something in this message for you. If it's not you, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Uh, it just means that they're trying to get someone to pay close attention to the reading uh, about success and overcoming their obstacles. Okay. Um, because you're, you're actually going to be moving forward, uh, truthfully, fearlessly, and skillfully in whatever it is that you do. And, uh, Nothing's going to set you back, okay? Yeah, see, now it's back. As soon as I just let down that card, it, it, my hearing's back, it's fine. So uh, as soon as I address the message, uh, it, it moves forward. Uh, now we have the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, this is uh, in your antagonist position. So this is resistance, Virgo. Uh, and resistance indicates, you know, you may have... Uh, found it difficult to get out of a stuck of being stuck in a rut for a while. You found it difficult to move forward. I'm going to pull a quick card on that energy uh, because there is some sort of lucky break coming your way that allows you the freedom to um, 
move forward. There's the lucky break. Look at that. It was a long time coming. It's a nine of pentacles. So this is an energy here of uh, you move for moving forward, but you meeting an opportunity. So when you get a Knight of Pentacles, this is a solid opportunity coming your way that will lead to a very financially lucrative time for you. Okay, it's you rising through the ranks. It's a reliable source of money. You've been very patient. Uh, you've worked hard and now you're getting the opportunity that you truly deserve. I feel like this is a better opportunity that you could imagine for your circumstances. Um, but you work hard and you do deserve it. Also, the Knight, you know, the Knight is very cautious and very slow to show up as it were. So there's this energy here of you've been waiting for an opportunity for a long time, but now it's here. Okay. So, um, the universe is bringing you, it's, it's, it's interesting because it feels like a lucky break, but it also feels like it's something you've worked damn hard for. And, uh, it's like meeting your preparation with, uh, fate and destiny. It allows you this opportunity for success. Okay, so very, very exciting. And as you can see, there's many other opportunities around, but there's one that's meant for you. This one's stuck to his back. Okay, so it's it, it's almost like it's been marked out for you. That's why they're indicating only your skill set or whatever it is that you do could possibly have this opportunity. So if you've been waiting for an opportunity, then um, it's about to come. And they're indicating again there with that four of water. So uh, very powerful time. Uh, and we got the Empress, okay? So this is the unified position. This is abundance. Standing in your power, knowing your worth, having your healthy boundaries high, and calling in all that you deserve and all that you've worked for, okay? So honor your ideas. They're very fertile. They're very creative. Uh, they will come to fruition and create a pleasurable uh, world for you. Uh, the Empress is also about nourishment. Uh, you know, there's a new version of yourself, Virgo, and it's not an egotistical one, but it is a one that knows what you deserve. Okay, you're not being pushed and pulled from pillar to post anymore. You're standing in your power and you're saying enough. I know what I'm worth and I know what I bring to the table and therefore you should be recompensed for it in a healthy way. Uh, I feel like um, there is a, a beautiful energy here um, of knowing that you're the person for the job because they're really highlighting this emperor. She's pointing at herself like me. It's me. I deserve this. Okay, I work hard for this. Okay, and it's not an egotistical energy, as I said. Uh, you've been waiting patiently and just manifesting and manifesting, and now is the time to um, reap the rewards. It's almost like it's harvest time for you. Okay, now this is that unified energy. I love that it's crossed by the magician because it's like whatever you're imagining or you're visual visualizing, manifesting there, um, you're inspired action, so you're taking action on it. You're not just waiting for it to fall in your lap. You're actually working towards it with a, a goal in mind. You're manifesting your destiny. You're going to start to see evidence on the physical plane of this. The star card is illumination. You're going to see it. Okay. It's not just something you've visualized. The star is the light that you seek when you enter a new phase of your life. So you're a new version of yourself and the star often illuminates in the darkness. So it's been a tough old time for you, uh, but now you're connected in a way that shows you the the path forward, okay? A time for embracing new ideas. Um, you're very fertile, as I said there. Um, now, also, you can be very fertile if you're coming to being with your soulmate or, you know, with someone from the past there and you're not wanting to, uh, you know, male or female, not a gender-specific reading, but if you're uh, able to conceive, um, you know, and you don't want to, pay close attention to that, okay? Because you're very fertile. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, but anyway, the star card energy. Um, they're saying Muna to me. Muna. Muna. Now, obviously, Moon, uh, I mean, I, we all know what the Moon is, but maybe Muna is a name. Maybe is that maybe that's how you call the Moon in your language. Um, apologies for um, not knowing that. Uh, but they're just giving me Muna. So um, please take it as it resonates. It could be a name, it could be a place, Muna. Uh, M -O, I can't see it, so I'm guessing it's either M-U-N-A or M-O-O-N-A, Muna. Please take it as it resonates. Um, but there's a, it could be the name of the company that you work for. Uh, there's a lot of success, and the Three of Fire indicates you're on the right path to it, okay? So you're gonna see some sort of opportunity come your way that shows you you're on the way. You're on the way to big things here, 
Um, when you get a three of fire, this is a, an indication not only that you're on the right path, but you're on the right path with your heart's desire. It's not just any old thing, okay, that's coming your way. It's something that you've been trying to achieve for a long time that you've been strongly enthusiastic about. And that there's going to be a lot of opportunities around, but trust yourself on the right one. Uh, as I said, we got a shell there. So listen to your intuition, listen to what your passions are wanting. And you can see there, there's like a, a direction gauge. You're, you're, you're headed in the right direction. You've illuminated the path. You're on it. You're doing it. Okay. But there is an opportunity that helps you. I, they keep showing me this hopscotch. It's like you skip a step and you go higher. Okay. Because of this opportunity. So um, now... I'm going to pull some cards on this because the Hermit energy, you may have had to go solo on this. Now, there's an energy here. I don't feel like there's loneliness, but you may have had to cut yourself off in order to focus on this dream ahead um, in order to unlock your prosperity. Uh, everything, I feel like the doors are opening for you. You're definitely moving ahead. Um, it's so interesting because you actually give me a song. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Um, I feel, I th think it's by, now this may not be connected at all because just before they said that, they said Joshua Tree. Um, now that may not be on that album at all. Um, cause I'm thinking Joshua Tree, an album. Okay. Uh, because they're, they're, they're giving me a song. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. So please, uh, those diehard kind of YouTube fans, I'm so sorry. I I'm not really a fay with, um, uh, that music. Um, but I'm reading the energy of it. It's almost like um, there's a couple of opportunities. Maybe you're doing something completely new, Virgo. Maybe you're doing, you've worked really hard, but maybe you're trying to action something that's more emotionally fulfilling. Maybe you've, uh, you know, been on a treadmill kind of job system and earned the money and kept going, et cetera, et cetera, but it's not been fulfilling. I say that because they're giving me that song. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Well, it's still haven't found what I'm looking for. Um, in the four of water, which is normally that kind of energy of um, feeling a little bit unfulfilled and then a new opportunity that comes your way that's more suited to you. Uh, so let's see how that takes it so much spirit guides. I'm truly grateful. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? Um, this is their card, the Hermit card. Can you please clarify this song that you're giving me um, about opportunity? Can you please guide me? Thank you so much. The death card in reverse, stuck energy, bored where you are, the world, ending cycles. So yeah, they're uh, something that it's not fulfilling for you. Oh, they said one more, so I'll go. Thank you so much. Two of wands, waiting for a new opportunity or uh, more, uh, waiting for an opportunity to expand or move forward. Uh, the, the death card in reverse indicates stagnation, inertia, okay, feeling stuck. Um, but this the Wheel of Fortune is coming along to change that all up, okay? So if you felt unfulfilled or struggling uh, where you are, maybe even boredom. See, it's, it's, you and your twin, if this is your twin, I mean, maybe they're, you are both very much on the same path here, which when you have a, a conversation, you may find that about their working in, environment as well. But there's an energy here of um, unfulfillment. Um, you know, your passion hasn't been ignited where you were and now everything's about to change as you move forward uh, because we got this new start, the will card. So again, an energy of physical movement as well as spiritual. So closing down a cycle um, and moving forward. It's like completion of one space. So if you if you lost a job, know, know that there is a new one coming here that is way better than the, the one before. Um, you will be fulfilled. This world card indicates also travel, maybe even emigration. So if you're thinking about uh, moving to another country, dreaming of that energy, um, then uh, it looks like you, you may be trying to action those plans. Um, that's not going to be for everybody, but there's an energy of movement here. Now, the two of wands, as you can see, again, more travel, more movement on the mind. Um, this is, again, about waiting for some sort of results um, in order to make a choice. It feels like the world is your oyster. You can do anything, um, but it's like, what is it that you want to do? Okay, so I feel like there's a couple of keys here. They're pointing to me um, with the Hermit card. It's about finding the right key that fits for you, Virgo. And you're going to be very surprised because there is an opportunity that is very fulfilling. Okay, in the meantime, the Five of Earth is about finding that alternative form of abundance. Okay, so if you did lose your job, um, know that you, I know that you've been 
um, trying to find alternative sources of money, there is an opportunity that's coming that will lift you out of um, where you feel you're stuck. Um, also, so I'm just going to pull a card on that. Also, where if you are in a job at the moment and you're rising up through the ranks, going to get some sort of uh, raise or promotion there, um, there's an energy here of starting some, something else, like a little business on the side that you might think, oh, it's just like a little hobby. I might make a little bit of money out of it. It's going to it's gonna do really well, actually. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please clarify? I mean, Virgo, where do you find all the time to do all this? Uh, my hat is off to you. Four of Swords. Four Swords in the reverse uh, indicates, you know, um, being ready to act on getting something different, something new. So maybe this is an idea you've had about having uh, another little job on the side or a little, it's almost like a passion project I'm seeing. Um, and you're ready to act on it, but you haven't quite done it yet. You're, it's almost like you're in the thinking mode. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, Ten of Cups, and we've got the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So uh, pay close attention to your synchronicities. We've got another two sevens, we've got two fours, and we've got two threes, okay? So very, very uh, interesting energy there. Um, two sevens. So seven of pentacles in the reverse indicates, uh, you know, uh, you're wondering what sort of reward it would bring financially. And if you feel like it uh, wouldn't bring you the rewards that you would want initially, you may feel like sometimes giving up on it. Okay, there's an idea there that they're indicating with that Seven of Swords as well um, about kind of like, it's almost like that running away from an idea that you that you think, oh, it probably wouldn't do very well, I probably wouldn't get so much money from it or whatever, and then returning to it and going, you know what, maybe I could do this. Uh, the, you know, maybe I won't run away from this. Maybe I'll, you know, action this. It's almost like you're in and out of this idea. You're ready to act on it. You haven't acted on it yet. This, it's an alternative form of abundance or an alternative form of making money. And it's almost like you, you keep talking yourself into it, then out of it, into it, then out of it. But if you ran with it, you got the Ten of Cups there. So there's a lot of abundance here. And actually, this will help. Uh, it's something that you love doing, um, and it will be uh, very rewarding. When you get a Ten of uh, Cups there, this is something that, uh, you know, financially, things would also help. And by that, I mean, you know, everything would be in place for a, a very rewarding future. So the money would come from it eventually, but it would require work and care and nurture. And maybe right now you're feeling like I can't do that. Uh, but something, there's an idea here that you've had that you keep thinking that you're going to do and then you don't action it. Maybe life just gets in the way. We're all human, Virgo. We can't do everything. Remember, um, you know, some time out, uh, but maybe you're taking some time out to Focus on it for a little while. Uh, maybe one weekend or something, you're going, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this and see how it goes. Um, I think it's going to do really well, that uh, Ten of Cups there. That's me to go again, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? Um, any further uh, advice or anything they need to know? The Death Card, New Start. So we got that Death Card again. New Start. Endings bring new beginnings. So there's a, uh, you know, the star is right in the center there and that, uh, of that death card, which indicates success. It's like, what are you waiting for? You have an action this, you know, um, it's almost like you give up. You, you, I don't know if you heard that, but they just rang a bell or something here for me. I got no bells in here. I got no alarms. I got no nothing. I, I've got very much peace here. Everything, you know. I'm going to rewind the video and if uh, see if it showed up on the video. But uh, anyway, uh, they just rang a bell for me, which was an indication of, yeah, what are you waiting for? Okay. Um, so anyway, let's move on. We have the four of, uh, I'm just going to put those back. We got the four of water. So four of water, beautiful energy. Uh, this is, as I said, when you're feeling fed up or, you know, that energy of not knowing where to go. In comes that opportunity, that will of fortune moment. This is a more fulfilling opportunity in terms of your career. It's emotionally fulfilling, it's financially rewarding, and it feels like uh, there are a couple of uh, opportunities available to you, but the right one, the big one, the one that helps you on your road to success, that will uh, guarantee 
uh, a very uh, exciting life ahead of you, uh, that's the one that you'll gravitate towards. I mean, it's an, it's no biggie. Um, it's an obvious uh, thing to say, but there there's plenty of opportunity. So where you feel like there is none, it's like buses or, you know, uh, yeah, it's like buses. Uh, you wait around for ages for one to come along and then they all come at once. Okay, so that's the energy that I'm getting here, Virgo, for you. Um, now, the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is, are you waiting for the right moment to act on something? Because the Three of Wands is expansion. There is, you know, you are going to be moving forward, but it's like with the right opportunity. You're waiting for some sort of result on, on an opportunity. I'm just going to clarify with this deck over here. Uh, now, it could be with opportunity or it could be with the, the lovers because they keep highlighting the lovers card to me. So I feel like what's really on your mind is your career and your focus on money um, and not in an egotistical way, but in a way of, you know, creating a solid foundation and future for yourself um, and rising up through um, those career ranks. But I also feel like somewhere on the back burner is love. Okay, so it's it's almost like holding out for some sort of being able to move forward. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please clarify this energy before we close the reading? Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Page of Cups. So uh, it's that either you're waiting for an apology or you're waiting for someone to come towards you and tell you how they feel because the Page of Cups is uh, love there. You may be waiting for new love because you're feeling, <clears throat> excuse me, you're feeling like someone from the past just never seems to make it work. So maybe you're waiting for new love. There is new love available, just to let you know. Um, when you're able to travel again or when you're able to move forward on uh, something, uh, there is new love coming on in. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please clarify this energy? Uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse and we have the Three of Cups. <clears throat> so again, they're indicating um, it's almost like when you have the Ten of Pentacles, it's a, an energy of loneliness. Uh, it can be an energy of loneliness uh, until that moment happens, you know, of this new love coming on in. But also there's an indication with that Ten of Pentacles of some sort of family conflict. Maybe you're dealing with family right now and your business and money and you can't really focus on love right now. But that's what ha happens, you know. Love normally comes in when we're least expecting it. Um, it's almost like love arrives on uh, divine timing and not our timing. So sometimes love is very inconvenient when it shows up. Um, and that's normally the true love as well. So we got three of cups there. So there is celebration. Uh, I feel like you're also um, using the support of your friends with whatever family conflict you've got going on at the moment. Um, now, they're showing me something really, really precise here. They're showing me some sort of, um, looks like some sort of snack. Uh, I don't know really what you would call them. Um, d different flavor, uh, flavored fish or something. It's, it's like, um, it's like, it's like a crisp that will be in the shape of, or a chip, some people call them crisps, some people call them chips, in the shape of a fish. And they've got um, a, a taste, a flavor to them, okay? They're showing me that. So if you're eating something like that as you're listening to this reading, then there's something in this message for you. If you're not, uh, it doesn't mean um, that uh, this message is not for you. It just means they want someone to pay close attention to this. But it could be also like... Because they show me someone dipping into a packet and taking it out. And there is a fish actually in that. Maybe it's like, rather than them saying there's plenty of fish in the sea, it's like they're saying there's plenty more fish in the packet. I don't know. Uh, please take it as it resonates. It's so, such a strange image to get. I would love to know in the comments box below if uh, you're actually eating a packet of fish-shaped chips uh, as you're listening to this reading. Uh, I don't know what they would be actually. I've never seen anything like that before ever. Uh, thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Can you please uh, guide me to what else they need to know? The Tower moment and the Ace of Cups. Boom. Love at first sight. Lightning strike. There it is. Okay. What a surprise. Tower, Ace of Cups. So there is new love here for you. It is love at first sight energy. Okay. Now you could have had that with somebody already um, and you feel like they're the one for you. Um, because there is an apology happening here. I feel like you're waiting for an apology and this person will return with an apology um, or trying to make it work. But if you don't want to make it work, there is new love coming as well. Okay, Ace of Cups, you know, someone wants to give you their cup of love there and they want a relationship that leads um, 
to a solid commitment. Okay, uh, that's why you got a choice here. So it feels like you may have a choice between two people or you may have a choice on someone who returns, trusting your intuition, whether you want this person back or not. Uh, the lover's card indicates soulmate energy, twin flame energy, because you've got that mirrored card there. But there's an indication here of choice because it used to be called a choice card. So there is deep love, very deep love on both accounts. Uh, but you get to choose which person you want or who is in line with your, your destiny. Let's put it that way. Uh, but there is definitely a lover for sight moment coming uh, for you. Now, maybe it's you seeing this person from the past again and falling in love all over with them and going, I'm still madly in love with you. Can we make this work? Um, or it is you meeting someone new. Please take it as it resonates. Um, because I feel like you have both. Virgo, not many people have both. I feel like you have both. There's a choice here. Um, Maybe that three of cups is indicating as well that there is, it's like there's three people here, you and two other people that you get to choose from. Obviously, choose wisely and what is right for you, um, but you have a choice all the same. And now the ace of cups often leads to a higher level of commitment. So there will be a higher level of commitment on the board for you. Now we got the magician. So this is all gonna turn out how you're hoping for. Your visions are very, very powerful right now. So be careful what you're thinking. Virgo, if you're thinking about a person in the past, for example, that you were romantically linked to or you want to be, you're calling that person back in energetically. So if you don't want that person, don't be thinking about them. Easier said than done, we're all human. Uh, we all have memories popping on in there. Uh, we can observe the memories, don't attach emotion to it. Because once we do that, then we actually energize the connection, just to let you know. Uh, but however you want this to go down, this magician energy is um, basically confidence in your actions, um, accomplishment you will be achieving your goals um, and it it's an energy of focus where your energy flows your attention goes and that's when success flows okay so just be mindful of whatever it is you're thinking there's um, unlimited possibilities around you and potential right now so exciting energy for you Virgo I'm gonna leave it there uh, very uh, positive energy for your uh, full moon reading for the wolf moon there Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? I'm just going to give you any advice Spirit would like you to take with you during this time. What do my beautiful Virgos need to know before we close this reading? Thank you so much. We have Protection Guardian. Drop your shields. Okay, so there's that energy that we were picking up in the reading about defensiveness uh, with your counterpart. Projection, that sort of energy. Mirroring each other's uh, energy. If you want to be with this person we got to drop some shields here and we got to just, you know, uh, let the love in. And th this, if cross watchers, if you're listening for your beautiful Virgo as well, that's also what you have to do. Okay. Drop the shields. It's almost like saying, Hey, yeah, I feel love. I don't know what this thing is. I don't know why it work. It doesn't work, but I'm willing to work to try and make it work. I don't know why it keeps going the same way. Um, rather than being defensive, you did this, he did that, she did that, we did this, you know, um, no blame game. Where are you protecting yourself? And where do you need to protect yourself as well? Use your intuition on that as well. Okay, drop your shields is the message. They've asked me to go again. Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide? Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Direction, guardian. Okay, so definitely the same energy that we're picking up on that... Um, protagonist energy is your chariot card direction guardian choose your path okay so even though we had that energy I still haven't found what I'm looking for um, there is an opportunity that helps you maybe focus on where it is you want to go so drop your shields choose your path direction guardian but also they're just giving me you know um, you're being guided so listen to that intuition. Now, before I close, I'm just going to give you a wisdom of the oracle. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay. We have Unfinished Symphony. But we got it in reverse, Virgo. We got it in reverse. It's number 10, um, which is about closing down cycles. Now, 10 in reverse, maybe the cycle, there's still some unfinished lessons here, okay, that uh, would help you get some sort of closure. Perhaps you don't want closure. Um, on something. Unfinished Symphony. You're not done yet, basically, is the energy here. Um, but maybe you're holding on to something, or whoever you're dealing with is holding on to something um, that's preventing you 
from moving forward. Uh, I'm just going to show you in the upright. There's an egg here, okay, and there's music. There's also two parakeets there. Parakeets, they often, uh, well, they mate for life. Uh, so there's a new start available, but there's something blocking. In, there's something in between, okay? I'm going to read from the book. Maybe you can feel this person's energy because they'll give me that soul song energy. Now, I just did a, a Sagittarian reading. So, and they had soul song coming through that uh, reading. So maybe there, you have a placement there somewhere. Uh, but I'm just going to read from the book. I don't want to tell you anything wrong. So we have protection message because you got it in reverse. When unfinished business casts a shadow over your life, it's a reminder that procrastination is a form of self-sabotage. It is not in your best interest to stall. Even stumbling forward is better than holding back. Don't overthink things or let yourself get distracted. Just tie up any loose ends and deliver the results. Don't quit before the finish line. Spirit wants you to win. Okay, so there was that energy that we were picking up in the reading about some idea that uh, you may have had that sometimes you think, oh, it's not going to work out. Uh, it's almost like, yeah, it's like self-sabotage. You know, you, you quit before you start energy. Okay, so it's actually going to be very successful, whatever that idea is. Um, obviously, do what you can within the means that you have. You can't just run on in and just create it all straight away. Baby steps, you know. So um, please, uh, I hope that resonates in some way. Um, please um, take it if it resonates to you. Now I'm just going to get a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. Sorry, Angel. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know? Wow. Okay, so we have a butterfly here. Uh, butterflies are about movement from one state to another, from stagnancy from being in one place where there is growth, there is learning. Uh, it's often an uncomfortable state to be in, feeling stuck in that chrysalis phase. But then it's about emerging, the butterfly, rising up towards success there. Okay, and they want that on the chariot card, which is interesting. And we also have the wheel, okay, the wheel of fate. So this is a, an energy of you being master or mistress of your own destiny, Virgo. And there's a lot of success here, but it's meeting opportunity because the will of fortune is there for you that helps guide you towards an opportunity that helps you rise through the ranks there. So a turning point in your luck and a lot of success to come. Uh, so um, good luck on your journey. Um, I hope some of this resonated for you in some way. Um, and uh, if it did, please like or subscribe to my channel, completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. Apparently that's important. It lets you know when I update my next message, lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Thank you so much, my beautiful Virgo. Love and light.